A Thunder Report from 1077, the franchise. Greetings, Thunder fans. The Oklahoma City Thunder finished with their practice session for the day, and it probably was a fairly intense practice because it appears Scott Brooks will give the team off tomorrow to rest. He'll also give us an update on the health of Reggie Jackson, Kendrick Perkins, and Tabo Cephalosha, and we get to hear from Steven Adams as the Oklahoma City Center is making his first trip to the upcoming playoffs. We get things started on this report with Thunder head coach Scott Brooks. Coach, you now have three full days before perhaps one of the more challenging back-to-backs in the entire season. What's your plan for the team over the next few days? What do you hope for them to get out of it? Just get better, you know, work on the things that we feel that's important. Uh, we're not worried about the back-to-backs, worried about uh, having a good practice today, and we did. The guys really got after it. Uh, I thought it was, the energy was great. The attention to details were, uh, was, was really good. Uh, we know we know San Antonio is uh, playing good basketball right now, uh, and we'll be you know re- ready when that day comes. But we're just focused on uh, working on what things that we feel are important. Scott, think about, think about you got this 17-game winning streak. What stands out to you about the way they're playing? Uh, they they do it every year. You know they're they're one of the premier teams in this league of being consistent. Uh, year after year, game after game, they're they're as consistent. They play, uh, they pass the ball well. They play good defense. Uh, they're well coached. Um, you know, they they're they're a good team. They're a good team, but they're they've been a good team for 15 years now. The defense has been better over this recent stretch. Are you seeing things uh, improve because of the mentality or because of things that guys are physically doing better? Um, was it good in the third quarter last night? Well, in the yeah. first. Quarter. <laughs> what about the second quarter? We gave it 31. Uh, you know what? We've had some we've had some improvement in that that area. We've been a good defensive team year, all year long. Uh, we had some bad stretches, uh, but those are the areas that we're trying to clean up and uh, and get better. I, I see that we have in the last uh, few games, uh, but we can't have uh, a few minutes here that we're not uh, locked in. You know uh, the. San Antonio, they they play their offenses is, 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 um, as well as any offense in the league. And they make you work, and they pass, they cut, they they make shots, they spread you out with their three-point shooters. Uh, so we have to really just focus in on playing the entire 24 seconds, 48 minutes. Were you watching tonight? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I watched a lot of games tonight. Uh, actually, the next all off nights, we I love watching games and. Um, obviously, two two of the best teams in basketball will be playing against each other tonight. Uh, but I, I watch a lot of games. Did Reggie Tabo or Perk practice tonight? Reggie Tabo or Perk? Uh, Tabo, no. Reggie and Perk uh, just did their few minutes of our warm up drill. How, how are they coming along, Reggie and Perk? Um, they're coming along. I mean, do you think uh, they'll be ready soon, or do you? Uh, they're just, I mean, they're just, they're working to get ready soon. Don't know when that will be. You may not talk the game, but it's safe to assume that Russell will sit one of the next two. Um, it's safe to assume that. Do you feel like this next stretch of games will be a good gauge to see where your team is at? Well, just looking at the schedule, I mean, I don't, I don't talk to the team about it too much, about looking ahead, but. You know, the next three games we're playing against very good teams that play fast on the offensive end. Uh, They move the ball. They play a lot of times. They play. They'll play small. They play a lot of pick and roll. San Antonio, Houston, and Phoenix. Both of all three of them are fighting um, for playoff positioning, and and it's um, it's always a test. But it's always a test to every team in this league if you're not prepared and and mentally ready to take the challenge, uh, regardless of who you're playing. Did, did you uh, happen to see or hear uh, last night? Kevin Ollie gave uh, you and uh, Sam and the Thunder organization a shout out in their post game. Nice. I did not see that, but I, I appreciate that. K- Ko was uh, he was one of the best uh, teammates I've ever seen. Uh, just a guy that was committed to to the game, passionate about about his teammates, and we all loved them here. And I'm so happy and proud of his success. It's uh, deserving. He's, he's earned it. 
He's he's made it in the league the, the hard way, and the and, and the coaching. He's come up the coaching ranks uh, as an assistant, and he's running one of the premier programs. And knowing Kevin like we all know him, he's going to do it the right way, and he's going to do it with everything he has. And it's it's you can see that that he is. Their players are playing the way he wants them to play, or the way that he played um, growing into this league. Is there something, you got a strong UConn influence, is that just happenstance or was there something about their players that maybe you guys like and that kind of fits in what you do? Uh, I mean, yeah, we got three guys, um, which is, it's, they're three very good players that uh, won a lot of basketball games, good players, and they're only going to get better. Um, you just have to somehow find a few UCI guys in there, so <laughs> even it out. <laughs> Nick and Karan said last night that the spacing has been really good along with the tempo uh, within the offense. Are you guys kind of hitting all the, the nuances of offense better than perhaps any point in the league? Well, we've, we've been a league leader in offense for three years or four years or so. I think we've always been good, but now we're scoring in different ways, uh, which is good. We're scoring. Uh, different guys are handling the ball and creating for others. Uh, and Kevin's doing it at a, at a high end. He's his ability to score for his teammates uh, with the ball uh, or without the ball. When he comes off the screens hard, you have to help out because we set great screens. And uh, that's just something that I've always give our bigs credit, but it's hard to really talk about it because it's, it's, it's not really fun to talk about. Uh, Nick, Perk, Steven, uh, Hash, and all of our bigs surge setting picks to get our guys open. But, when they come off screens hard and they, we set screens, we can get a lot of points off of just running off on screens hard. But I think that's that's improved in the last couple of years. Just kind of with the top spot up for grabs. With us in the media, we're of course going to look at it. Thursday's game has been about that. But how do you view just having the top seed? You guys didn't have it two years ago and beat them in the conference finals. Had it last year. They injury you guys are playoff folks. But how do you look at having that top spot? Well, it's always good to have the best record but it's not the it's not the end of the world if you don't it doesn't guarantee nothing other than if there's a game seven it's on, it's in your building if you had a choice to have a game seven seven you want it in your building there's i mean there's no question that's 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 um important but it's you can you're gonna have to win on your home floor and you're gonna have to win on your on the opponent's floor and and you, if I, if you ask me if I'd rather have a choice to have four home games over three, yes, I'd rather have that. But if it doesn't happen, we still have a great opportunity to um, play good basketball. So with, uh, Sam's Last roots one. somewhat in San Antonio going through there. Um, these two teams are compared. Their franchises are compared. Would you comment on that? Are they similar from your point of view? And if they are, how? Well, I, I mean, I can't really comment with other than being outside looking in i mean there's there's a lot of respect that we have for an organization that handles their business in a very professional way and the way they play and their consistency is is obviously a role model for a, every franchise in this league and then pop you know as a coach uh, is one of the best that really is demanding consistent effort every night it's something that we do i mean we're not uh, we don't compare, I mean, I don't compare our guys to their guys. I don't compare our teams to the, to the Spurs. I just know they're a very good team. They won some championships, uh, and they, but they earned it. They've earned it by never, uh, they don't skip steps. They, they, they focus on, on the process of doing the job every day, and we, and we do the same thing. Um, but obviously, they've had a lot of success for a lot of years because they've got a lot of good players and are well coached. Scott, Thanks, all games are Last crucial one. at this time of the year. How vital is the next three days to keep guys rested? Yeah, I mean, it's it's important that we had a good work today. Tomorrow we're going to have a recovery day, so the guys will um, get some things done that they need to, to work on, and then we'll come back Wednesday and practice. Uh, it's important to get the work in, but it's also important to rest. So, I mean, most coaches, including myself, want to keep practicing and drill and, and scrimmage and and special situations, but you also have to rest the body and the, and the mind. And I think our players understand that we have to we have to utilize all our days, whether it's uh, 
a recovery day or a work day in practice, you have to make sure that we are locked in and tuned in going towards the playoffs. Steven, the, the offense these days seems to be really coming. What's working for you all on that end of the floor lately, just in terms of spacing and ball movement? That kind of thing? What's, what's working for our team? Yeah. Yeah, well, you said it right there. It's our spacing and our pace of the game. And you know, everyone's getting to their spots and being disciplined with our offense. And at least the easy, you know, easy passes because you know everyone knows where the pass is going to be, knows where everyone's going to be. So that's where we get open shots. Yeah. Seems like you've been a beneficiary of that too. What's been uh, key for you, just in terms of getting a few buckets around the room? Oh, it's just mainly just clean up, just try and clean up if we miss, and yeah, if it goes in, it goes in. But yeah, I just try and get the rebounds and set screens and get people open. Yeah. You looking forward to Thursday against Tim Duncan? Like that matchup. Yeah, it's always been fun. I find every game fun, but this one should be more fun. Standpoint of the importance and of course him being the better and everything else, you're not in the starting role. I mean, does it change for you how you approach the game as opposed to early this season? How I approach uh, the how game? Because you you're not in the starting situation. As, as opposed to coming off the bench, you're getting stars and minutes. Do you approach the game any differently? Uh, no, not at all. It's the uh, same. I mean, we, we, we figure on the same sort of thing. Like, I've, I've been doing the same stuff when I was coming off the bench as well. It's the same sort of defensive principles. Make sure, you know, just make sure I talk. And it's, it's the same stuff, but one thing probably is just to make sure I come out with a lot of energy and try and make an impact straight away instead of, like, I sometimes have a tendency of, like, kind of slowly creeping up after, like, not warm up, but, like, I want to just start the game off. Like, boom. A boom. Steven, with the NBA talking about possibly raising the age limit coming out of the college, what's your thoughts? You came out after freshman year. Do you think players should be able to come out when they want, or should their age limit be raised? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I guess they could. I'm on the fence about it. I have to talk to my people. We're still discussing. An answer. I don't know. I don't bloody know. <laughs> I haven't thought about that. Stephen, just your first year in the NBA. The arena's been packed, sold out the entire season. Has it ever surprised you throughout the year to, to see the fans completely packed in that arena, rain or shine, snow, all sorts of stuff? Yeah, it's, it's really, it's really weird. Like I haven't seen nothing like it, but it's just, I don't know. They're really cool fans. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're just constantly yelling at everything. It's cool. Gives you energy. Nice people too. Coming up through your uh, teenage years, how much attention did you pay to the NBA playoffs? Coming up to what, sorry? Through your teenage years, how much attention did you pay to the NBA and the NBA playoffs? Nah. None. When did it first start? Was that the right answer? Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> how was it? When did it first start interesting you? Um, probably when I when I came over here to the States, you know, because it's all around and being on the different American basketball teams, that's what they like to do, just constantly watch it. I mean, they didn't have rugby over here, so I had no choice. I mean, it's not a choice. It's cool. Is this week at all bad you kind of stick for you because of the Spurs, Houston, which could be for you, um, Dwight Howard comes back from the ankle. Phoenix, the last time you were out there, they, I mean, they can put up a lot of points. They're fighting to get in the playoffs, so it's just kind of a measure for the Team. Yeah, what was the question, sir? Is this a major stick? Well, you can kind of see where you are as a team. You've got three really good opponents yeah. coming up uh, this week. Yeah, I mean, you probably can't. You actually probably can't use it as a measuring stick, but you know, you can't really take it for granted in any way. Which just it's just a good test for us to make sure that we're ready for playoffs or you know, just against good opponents. Just uh, getting used to their sort of gameplay. That's Thunder center Stephen Adams. If you were listening a little bit earlier, you heard Scott Brooks mention that the Thunder probably will rest tomorrow. Then they'll get back on the practice floor on Wednesday in preparation for Thursday's game against the San Antonio Spurs. We'll have reports each of those days. Thanks for watching today's Thunder Report. I'm David Garrett for 1077 The Franchise.